On this edition of Penn State Access Granted, gymnastics, graceful events, how do they do that? Men's volleyball, they play far away from home, Dennis Devalier and Edgardo Goaz from Puerto Rico. And women's volleyball, they may have just done something special, again. The Penn State women's volleyball team did some of its best work this season, focusing on the game ahead and not on their profile as they ran through the record books. The Nittany Lions finished another undefeated regular season and won their seventh Big Ten championship in a row. By tournament time, they had amassed 96 consecutive wins, a streak that stretched back to 2007. It was all set up, but in order to have history, they needed 102 consecutive wins. It all started in Rec Hall, the final home matches for the seniors against Binghamton and Penn. And once again, they produced. <laughs> Off to the regionals, a tough regional at the O'Connell Center in Florida. In Gainesville, they had to take on 16th ranked Florida and number nine Cal, two very tough opponents. Once again, Penn State was dominant. Glass to play. Penn State advances to the national semis. The St. Pete Times Forum, home of the Tampa Bay Lightning, but this weekend home to the national semifinals of women's volleyball. In the semifinals, number 12 Hawaii, a squad that had not lost since September. They had won 28 in a row, and they looked it. They won the opening set against the Nittany Lions. But because of Penn State's outstanding blocking, they came right back and kept the streak going. Hawaii, big hit, but a huge block for the Nittany Lions. And the 1,000th career victory for head coach Russ Rose. So it was all set up. The top two teams in the nation. They had been number one and number two all season. Not only that, a former Nittany Lion on the bench, assistant Salima Rockwell. What you would hope would happen is that there's a whole bunch of young kids around the country watching volleyball that, that see two charismatic players going out there and playing hard and, and playing with passion. There's very few people, there's not a lot of guys that are as athletic as Megan and Destiny. We're not just talking girls here, we're talking guys. Players go through practice, they go through tape, they're ready. A little bit nervous, but you know what? The parents and those who follow the team are on pins and needles as well. I find myself a little this more nostalgic now and a little more nervous, I think, than I was the last two. My heart is jumping out of my chest right now. I don't think my daughter's nervous at all. I'm here with my 90-year-old, 91-year-old mom. She may be the oldest, but she's certainly one of the most die-hard fans. She's excited about Penn State volleyball and excited for the season to end on a great note. <laughs> The serve picked up by Texas. They go to the middle, and number five, Rachel Adams, gets the kill. Point Texas. Texas here with set point. Destiny Hooker comes up huge. Prince they fell behind two sets to none. So Russ Rose wins the last time this group was behind 2 0. When these girls were freshmen, and I indicated to them that when we played in Texas, we were down 2 0, and we came back and won the match so that we could do that again. Can Penn State muster it up and uh, come back and win three of the next three sets to reclaim the national championship? Let's watch. Picked up by Penn State. Set by Glass to Megan Hodge, and she gets the kill. Point Penn State, and that's what the doctor ordered. Hooker to the block, it's good for Penn State. I like to see the girls dancing around again. Dug by Dorico. Hodge into the block. Down on the Texas side. <laughs> Penn State needs to rise to the challenge, and they're doing it right now. Penn State with a block on Fawcett. Hooker is blocked. Point Penn State. Megan Hodge threw the block and down. Out 
out of intermission, winning sets three and four, and now history hangs in the balance and set five. Right side, Blair Brown off the top of the block, it's down! Back and forth like a heavyweight match, trading blows. Megan Hodge! <laughs> One hundred two in a row, three national championships in a row. Congratulations to the Penn State women's volleyball team. In this decade or any decade, simply the best. Coming up, more championship moments. The Lady Line basketball team played in the 2000 Final Four. We'll look back at this special group. From the Caribbean to Happy Valley, men's volleyball players Dennis DeValle and Edgardo Goaz share similar paths to Rec Hall. Penn Staters change the world every day. People like Dr. Webb Miller and Dr. Stefan Schuster, who are the first to sequence the DNA of a woolly mammoth. The breakthrough in making this project happen was it was a collaborative effort. It was believed that all the genetic information was lost. But by our technology, we gain access to this information again. We are changing the world. We are Penn State. The Big Ten women's basketball season is underway. Far side Grant, all alone for three. Yes, Ty Grant. The Lady Lions are off to a fast start, and the best seats in the house are courtside. Down low to Monroe. Quick shot up off the glass. Tregel, strong move to the basket. Wolf to Alex Bentley, who hits the 10-foot jumper, and they win the championship game. The Emmy Award-winning Courtside with Coquise returns to the Big Ten Network January 7th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Here's the serve, picked up by Quillico, joust at the net, picked up by Penn State. Bump set, Ariel Wilson, Megan Hodge, the kill. the kill, it is history! Women's volleyball just completed another national championship run. The final four is magical. Another team 10 years ago made that journey. 10. It was 10 years ago that history was made by 10 very special Lady Lion basketball players. The road to the Final Four began in the summer of 1999 with a European trip that brought the team closer and prepared them for the challenge ahead. A tough regular season schedule that included six top 25 teams. The team finished the regular season 24-3 and, and won their third Big Ten title on a magical senior night at the Jordan Center. Competition at the Big Ten tournament was a tune-up for the Big Dance. The Lady Lions defeated Youngstown State and Auburn in the opening rounds and rolled to Kansas City to face Iowa State in the Sweet 16. Down low to Garner. Garner turn on baseline jumper, no good. Rebound. Garner has it. Darling has it. Puts it up. It's good with 12.6 seconds to go. Taylor's jumper up. No good. Penn State wins the game. The Lady Lions go to the Elite Eight. Two days later, the team was we confident. Right to play today. Let's go to Philadelphia. Okay. Game schedule, gotta play it. Might as well win it. We are. Pensy! Falcone is open on the right side. Three pointer up and good for Falcone. Frierson has the shot blocked by Warner. One minute, 38 seconds. Darling for three. It's oh, good. Baby. Though only a three-hour trip by bus, it was a lifelong journey of blood, sweat, and tears for these 10 Lady Lions. Their goal achieved. They made it all the way to the Final Four in Philadelphia. That trip was just like, we did it. You know, we're, we're actually here. We're the first team ever in Penn State's history to make the Final Four. That was so special for me um, to end my career where it began to have all of my family there. And it was just great when we went out on that floor. I mean, the lights were on. It was, it was overwhelming. I mean, it was, a, it was great, but it was like, wow, we're actually here. 
it just went, it went by too fast. I wish I could have savored every moment. I just always wish I, you could have made it last longer. The Nittany Lion basketball team is fully entrenched in the Big Ten season. Like any season, there are ups and downs, but the fans have made the Bryce Jordan Center a winter home, and Taylor Battle is this team's heartbeat. He's had a couple of great seasons at Penn State and is leaving his mark, but like any great player, he wants to leave a legacy. I just want to leave and be known, you know, as hopefully one of the best players to play here, but, you know, a, a teammate and a friend, you know, and, and a player's coach, you know, to everyone. You know, I want to be more than just a player, you know, a friend of the community. Uh, I just want to be, you know, a good person, so to speak. So when I leave, you know, I want people to remember me for more than just basketball. I definitely know I left a mark, and the guys here with me left a mark here. You know, winning is what gets you there, so if we continue to win, hopefully, you know, we will be, you know, two-sport powerhouse. Coming up on Penn State Access Granted, Nittany Lion All-American gymnasts give you the inside scoop on what the judges look for. The Penn State names known all over the world. Coming up next, we sit down with a couple of athletes on the men's volleyball team, and they tell us about playing for the blue and white. Well, we want to get our monk because he was a great football player. Granger's a good football player. Astorino's a football player. He really is a good football player. It'll be a tough football game for us. I think every game we play is going to be tough. They'll play a tough football game. Remind's a good football team. Iowa's a good football team. When you get those kinds of things happening to you, you're going to get licked. We don't play well, we'll get licked. Find out how you can purchase episodes of the classic TV series, Joe Paterno's TV Quarterbacks, by visiting WPSU.org backslash TVQB. for welcoming me to your home here in Happy Valley, the Ben's Lounge and Dreck Hall here. What made you choose Penn State? I just came to visit and I just loved it. And I just like started talking to Dennis. It's like, you have to come with me, like, we need you, like, it'll be sweet. It's a great volleyball program, so we're very excited to be here. Now, is it a hard adjustment from moving from home to come to school here? For me, like, my English wasn't very good at all. Language difference was like a big thing. Like, going to classes, Especially like taking notes in English. That was like I think like the hardest step. But then you guys had kind of each other to count on in the same sense. You're going yeah. through the same thing. Yeah, it's been like six years like together playing here and back home. On the court, it wasn't like a big thing because like it's volleyball, like nothing less. Like you don't need to like talk, you don't need to write. You just like play the game. But like outside of the court, that's when it was the biggest adjustment. Like and that's like like I just I'm just so happy being here. Not just because like of Dennis, because but. The other like four other uh, freshmen that came in with us, like Jesse, Joe, Brad, and Tomas, like they were like a big part of just helping you like with the language and like everything. So you kind of formed your own family here in State College. For freshman year, like me personally, I just wanted to like go home for breaks. Like I want to go home for break, but then like the second year, like you go home for break, like, break, and you're like, man, I want to be back in I miss Penn State. Yeah, like, that miss happened to me like, last year too. I was home and I was like, I miss speaking English. I miss like everybody like we just want to go back and see them and hang out and play volleyball with them and like it was I don't know. but I started missing this place. Does your family ever get the opportunity to come here and see you play? Last year in the IBA finals um, she like surprised me I didn't, even, I, didn't, I didn't know she was coming so she fly she fly to my sister's house in Lancaster and then my sister drove her here so it was very nice and she was like very surprised with like the campus. She loved it here mm -hmm. and she got to see me play for the first time here and we won the like the IVA championship so that was very special. Is there any Spanish you've tried to teach some of your teammates? Especially me that I'm a setter, like when I'm calling like play sometimes instead of like saying like a one ball or like 
the 31 or something they just like say like the numbers in Spanish they get so excited like because most of them like took Spanish in high school or either they take in Spanish right now in Penn State so like they get all excited to like try to speak Spanish at least to him because like the place and stuff they're like uno uno and like so they get all excited and they're pretty good they like they're not bad at all but. you just like play it and just have fun with it mm -hmm. volleyball is the same you can talk about the same thing same experience same everything so you can relate at some point the name Penn State has respect internationally, and because of that, Penn State has been able to go outside of the country to garner some outstanding recruits that have had a great impact at Penn State. But at the same time, the Penn State community has had a great impact on the international student-athletes. Penn State Athletics is actually known for their support groups, both academically, athletically, mentally. Basically, when it comes to you know athletics, academics, anything that you need help in, you can get help in. I've had the gymnastics team all around me since the day I came here and they really helped me a lot with everything. They're my friends, they're my family right now. Particularly when they're in team sports, um, they work together, they travel together, you know, they sometimes they live together. I think they, they develop a support system faster than other international students do. I chose Penn State because of the guys on the team. They're like a family and they've always been there supporting each other. It kind of fills in that empty space that I was missing. Penn State wrestling coach Cale Sanderson understands goals and how to reach them. You can't go 159-0 in your wrestling career with four national titles and an Olympic gold medal unless you have goals and the will to make them happen. At Penn State, he has a vision as a head coach, and he knows what it takes to make it a reality. I think I'm a, definitely a big picture uh, person. Um, you know, I came to Penn State to, to win team championships. I mean, there's no question about that. But I understand there's a process. And uh, when it comes to focus, you know, my focus, our focus as a program is on the process. And, and really, we try to break things down as, uh, you know, as far as we can to, to make things uh, controllable. You know, we want, if we can focus on what we can control and do the best that we can with those things, um, you know, we're, we're going to have success. We try to get guys that are, that are self-motivated, that are here because they know what they want to accomplish. They want to uh, see what they can do. They want to help Penn State win a national championship. They want to win individual national championships. Um, really, as a coach, we just try to keep them uh, on task and focused on the big picture, you know, focused on, and then just helping them to focus on the process so they can make those, uh, those goals you know, be, you know, become their, their reality. Coming up on Penn State Access Granted, Nittany Lion All-American gymnasts give you the inside scoop on what the judges look for. At TNB Medical, we're already training the next generation to treat our customers like they're part of the family. Listen to what folks are saying about us. My scooter and lifts help my quality of life so I can, I can go out, I can go to amusement parks, I can go do things that I couldn't do before. I myself love the staff at TNB Medical because they care about me. They have always helped me with everything I need. TNB Medical State College, providing the service you deserve. Penn Staters change the world every day. People like Dr. Tianjana Malua, who leads the new school of international affairs. Penn State has always been in the forefront of producing leaders. And I think the School of International Affairs can only contribute to the production of more leaders as we go along. We are changing the world. We are Penn State. Take it inside with the Penn State Basketball PNC Bank Flexbook. Now our schedule fits yours. Battle, foul, count the bucket! At just $99, the Penn State PNC Bank Flexbook gets you 10 vouchers. Redeemable for tickets to any Nittany or Lady Lion home basketball game. See any team, anytime, in any combination. Grant puts up the shot. That's good! Visit GoPSUSports.com or call 814-865-5555. <laughs> The Big Ten women's basketball season is underway. Far side Grant, all alone for three. Yes, Ty Grant. The Lady Lions are off to a fast start, and the best seats in the house are courtside. Down low to Monroe. Quick shot up off the glass. 
Tregel, strong move to the basket. Wolf to Alex Bentley, who hits the 10-foot jumper, and they win the championship game. The Emmy Award-winning Courtside with Coquise returns to the Big Ten Network January 7th at 6 p.m. Eastern. resolution is to do more community service. Win national championship, win Big Ten championship, and go back to Israel to represent Israel in the world championship. To drink less soda. To kick butt at Big Tens. My New Year's resolution is to eat better. To enjoy my last semester here at Penn State and to finish my year strong. To do everything in my power to bring this team to win the first Big Ten championship. To score points at Big Tens and break 20 seconds in the 53. The New Year's resolution that I have for this year is to be in the double digit scoring for basketball and to just be happy, healthy. To break the school records in the mile and the thousand and to help the team win Big Tens this year. My New Year's resolution is to have an attitude of gratitude for the opportunities and challenges that I face as the head women's gymnastics coach here at Penn State University. Hi everyone, my name is Alexandra Brockway. I'm a senior on the women's gymnastics team and I'm here to introduce to you the balance beam. We are constantly doing routines, trying to get consistent. We work our skills individually, we work routines, and we do it over and over and over. And we play games sometimes just to add a little fun into it. And uh, what the judges look for mostly on the balance beam is just really beautiful lines, nice form, good landings. Landings are a huge thing. Hi, my name is Allie. I'm a senior on the Penn State Women's Gymnastics team, and this is the floor. A good floor routine has awesome tumbling, nice choreography that the judges can interact with. Landing is very important on the floor. Each pass should show support on the landing, consistency. This is probably the longest routine we have to do, uh, about 70 seconds routine. I'm Brandi Personette, I'm on the women's gymnastics team, and this is the vault. A good vault has great form through the air and has a lot of amplitude, height, and gets a good distance from the horse and then lands with a stick. What's important is um, to have a very solid, controlled, strong run onto the board and uh, have a good position on the board before you, before you jump onto the table. What's key is the landing. You want to land and not move your feet at all. This is the pommel horse. Uh, I believe it's the least favorite event for most gymnasts. A lot of times this event uh, competition comes down to this because this is the big cha challenge. All right, this is, uh, this is the rings. This is the event where uh, usually the body takes the most beating on. Uh, there's a lot of strength involved, um, like crosses and Maltese's and all those elements uh, that are uh, usually very impressive. Hi, I'm Rosie on the Penn State Women's Gymnastics team, and these are the uneven bars. For a good routine, you know, you like to hit all your cast handstands and have to, uh, good lines. They look for, like, execution on release moves, big release moves that have really good form. For the parallel bars, it's very important to have uh, very solid, controlled handstands. Uh, body position is very important. Swinging skills as as long as, as um, support skills, so it's important to practice them both. Last event, high bar. It's my personal favorite. A lot of stuff going on in the air, release moves, pirouettes, very interesting. Uh, I think most people that other gymnastics also uh, enjoy high bar the most. This past fall was another excellent semester for student athletes at Penn State. The Penn State women's cross country team captured its first ever Big Ten title. The Nittany Lions were led by senior Bridget Franick, who won the individual title. Freshman Nicole Lord finished ninth overall and had the highest finish among rookies. After winning the conference title, the focus for these long-distance runners now shifts to the indoor track season. A trio of Nittany Lion football players were selected to the AP All-America team. Senior defensive tackle Jared Odrick was not only first team among the American Football Coaches Association poll, he was named second team AP. Jared also picked up Defensive Player of the Year honors in the Big Ten. Navarro Bowman was a third team selection. He led the team with 15 and a half tackles for losses in 2009.
Senior tackle Dennis Landol continued the tradition of excellent offensive linemen at Penn State. The senior has made 39 consecutive starts on the offensive line, and he was selected a third-team All-American by the Associated Press. And one other note, Daryl Clark won the Silver Football Award from the Chicago Tribune as the Big Ten Player of the Year. The Penn State women's soccer team won an unprecedented 12th straight Big Ten title in the fall. The Nittany Lions are only one of two schools to win a conference title in the same sport for 12 consecutive years. 102 straight wins. That's where the Penn State women's volleyball team finished the 2009 season. In what many consider the greatest era in women's volleyball history, the Nittany Lions won a third straight national title. With so many incredible memories of 2009, what does 2010 have in store? Thanks for joining us on this edition of Penn State Access Granted. Be sure to follow us online on Facebook and Twitter. Additional Penn State features and stories can be found by visiting WPSU.org backslash sports. has been a production of WPSU. WPSU is your source for Penn State sports, Penn State research, Penn State community. But we can't do it without your support. Become a member today and get a DVD of your favorite Penn State show.